physical presence of this team leads them to the best possession big squad in MLS. But how does that now equate to chances in the final third for the San Jose Earthquakes and Lucha Gonzalez? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The news coming out, though, that was concerning initially. And we are underway from Shell Energy Stadium. The San Jose Earthquakes, the visitors in black and blue going from left to right, and the Dynamo in all orange. To be the aggressor, the protagonist, the one that feels like they've had the best effort on the night. We've yet to see that from them this season. Here's a corner coming from Espinosa, and it's not at home, right off the bat. San Jose, the visitors, I believe it was Bruno Wilson who smashed that one into the back of the net and right out of the gate. What a start for the visitors. This team has lacked all over the pitch. The odd conversation about them is the success has come off the back line. Vitor Costa, two already on the season from the left back position, set piece or not. What an execution, the explosion right to the top of the six. That's gotta be better from Jan Gregor, simple enough. There's plenty of space for the midfielder from Houston to track. He just loses him in training. But a constant presence out here that was so good once they cemented Escobar in behind him. They picked that up now with Aliou. He's done a better job like this. And here he comes into the penalty area. And he's denied by William Yorbro, who came well off his line. Still Houston coming forward. And here's a diving save by Yorbro to deny Aliou once again. It's like he knew the spotlight was on us, but denied twice by William Yorbro. On Houston. Tends to sort of go with the hot hand, riding the midfield once again. Not necessarily as overwhelming as we saw last time out. Judd into the penalty area, got a touch to it, did not get full purchase on it, and Steve Clark is able to come out and make the save. Well, this is moving forward. Second corner for the Dynamo, taken short to Carrasquilla. Back to Bassi. Makes the cross, now drives in, he puts this one toward the back post, dangerous ball, headed back along the six, and a bicycle attempt that goes into the supporter section. Good work from the Houston Dynamo and a chance for Sebas Ferreira, who came within the first two minutes of this match. Three games with a hamstring injury, you see him away from the ball, maybe took a little shot there from... Preston Judd. They're checking for violent conduct off the ball. You see the arm in a swinging motion. And the referee is going to reach into his pocket, and it is a red card to Preston Judd. And Judd tangled up. Here's another look. And watch the right side. That, that angle, again, it's very difficult. To break down all the action. And by the way, it is also available in Spanish, if that is your preference. Here comes the corner from Bossi. It's headed toward goal. Yorbro comes out to claim it. In general, yet alone, when San Jose have gone down to 10 men, so move them side to side. Make them make decisions on their road. You've got the player advantage. Use it to you. Tichenko fires a shot from outside the penalty area that bounces into the arms of William Yarbro. Dean Bossi. Flicked across by Dorsey. Brad Smith drives up for through it. A wonderful save by Yarbro. A man is down in the penalty area. Now Escobar. Mikael. Artur. Artur is going to measure one up from long range. Carrasquilla. Rodriguez again. Bossi measures it up, fakes the shot, tries to serve it in. Another appeal for a handball. Bossi is beside himself right now. In that match, if you haven't seen it yet, you'll have to take a look. Right, is this a handball? I don't know how they're not calling this. Honestly, I mean, it's away from the body. It is in an unnatural position. We have the referee's decision here coming up. Will it be a penalty giving Houston the opportunity to level this match? Give it up to Kowalczyk. Now Karaskia. Bodies everywhere for San Jose. Artur through a couple of defenders. Puts it in. Sebastian Ferreira! for the Houston Dynamo and for that man Sebas Ferreira it could not have come at a better time his first on the season
has it. Incredible ball movement by the Houston Dynamo and the patience that we've talked about since someone had to go beat a player. Watch our tour. Two separate players. Abobazi doesn't step in. Espinosa doesn't slide back over. And now you're playing catch up if you're San Jose. Because the six comes up through. Now all of a sudden, you're Jackson Yule. You have to. Franco Escobar unmarked on the back post. Bossy drives this one in. And this one, a diving save by Yarbrough again. But the rebound is roofed by Franco Escobar. The Dynamo have come back. And they've taken a 2 1 lead. It was a tremendous initial save by Yarbrough, but he could not stop Escobar. And the Dynamo are in front. Coming just wide open on the back stick. The Jackson Yule already having to occupy Sebastian Kobalchik can do nothing as Escobar goes unmarked. Pay credit to where it's due first off. That's an incredible save by Yarborough. As he pushes through, that's some kind of strike. She came off the bench for Ecuador in their match against Italy at Friendly. Now another foul and a booking. Maybe some frustration showing for San Jose, and that is Jackson Yule, his second booking. And so now San Jose down two men. This thing into the penalty area and see what happens. Dorsey's able to clear it on, and there is the final whistle. The Dynamo come from behind. It took grit and determination.